Interestingly, the poems that seem most personal to Blaymire, the poems about heartbreak and about the rheumatism that plagued much of her life, are written in standard English. I wonder whether her use of Cumberland dialect is a kind of performance an identity donned to make humorous observations, using the ordinary language of the land to bring its people to life. This is part of her poem, Silk Attire, set to music by the band Herdus, who we'll hear more from later. And ye shall walk in silk attire, and silver have to spare. In you consent to be my bride, nothing can done of man. To the north and west of Carlisle, the peaked and crinkled landscape of the south stretches out into the Solway Plain, where the skies go on forever and the wind gusts in from the Firth and the Irish Sea. It's here, just a few miles from the coast, that I've been invited to a rehearsal of folk band Herdus named after a Lake District peak. The songs will part from morn till late It had looked like a folk at home Some think it runs, but many read All the world over is the same Band member Steve Wharton is a folk singer whose connection with place has led him to perform and even to write in dialect. Steve, can you tell me where we're sitting at the moment? We are secreted in the corner of a longhouse, part of the Moorforge Viking settlement, which is uh, springing up over the last couple of years. It's been built by a, a couple of friends of mine. They're focusing on the Norse heritage of the area, which you can see if you look at the map every day. We see Norse names all around us and so I've for me it's quite interesting to be here and taking part in performance events that are kind of at the root of where some of our language and our dialect comes from. I keep coming across this link between the dialect and the various groups across the centuries who've called Cumbria home, connecting our language and identity to other places all across northern Europe. If we go back to Middle English and you get the northern dialect of Middle English, which was the predominant dialect right across the north, over you know, County Durham, Northumberland, and is also the basis of the Scots as a language in its own right. That was influenced by the Norse Vikings that came here. There are still some Britonic, like Cumbric words that remain. So I think part of the Cumbrian identity is the amalgam of everything that's gone before us and it's being able to let it coalesce into a whole that we're happy with. You've written in dialect yourself, haven't you? Um, can I ask you about Asgan Back and how that song came into being? I was living in Prague at the time and then we decided we were going to be moving back to Britain. We thought, yeah, we want to be back in Cumbria, we want to be able to get into the fells really quickly. So I started going through the archives um, online for a, an old folk song about coming back to Cumbria. And I couldn't find one. I don't think anyone's ever been happy about it. <laughs> then I realised, of course not, it was Cumberland, it was Westmoreland, it was Lancashire north of the Sands. And also it just wasn't the kind of thing that people wrote the folk songs about. So I thought, well, I'll, I'll have a go at writing one in an old style. It was a warmer feeling than just singing, I'm going back as Ganback and I could hear like you know my uncle and other folk that I've known saying that as well so it tied me to them being able to sing it. Back inside by the fire Steve hands me a sheet of lyrics and asks me to join in the chorus with the other members of the band. I hadn't come expecting to sing but it strikes me that perhaps this is what poetry and song written in dialect is really about. This ability to join in, to be a part of something. Who knew the water of Eden flowed from the gates of hell? Ninety mile under long makes gates till it reaches us always swell. Oh, has come back to Furness, has come back to Cumberland, has come back to Westmoreland, has gonna find my Eden. And they looked at the Next to the Longhouse, reminding me of Cumbria's Norse heritage. I'm singing these words that Steve wrote in another country while dreaming of home. Has come back to Westmoreland, has gone to find my Eden. There's many a weary night spent by the winding mere, and many a soul who has been fed by the sight of the fell side deer. Oh, has come back These words are a part of my vocabulary. They speak of a place I feel I belong. It doesn't matter that I wasn't born to them, that they're different from the words my parents grew up with. It's the community, 
and the coming together of voices that makes this performance real.